Today I'll be checking ChatGPT's ability to uh, solve certain thermodynamic problems that are very trivial. So first I will try to uh, give it some conditions and see if it's able to identify what phase it is in, wet steam, subcooled liquid, superheated steam, supercritical phase. Then I'm going to give it some conditions and see if it is able to give me some entropy or enthalpy or specific volume uh, values. And then if it's not able to, I will check if it is able to interpolate directly from tables, if it has access to thermodynamic data, or if it uses a formula. I really want to audit and see the function of it uh, when it's facing uh, thermodynamic problems. So we'll see if we can count on it to help us on uh, homework. So let's check first the phase question. What is the phase of uh, water at 20 bar and 250 Celsius? Okay, so it's telling me that it is in the supercritical state right here. Okay, I think that's accurate. Let's try another one. What is the phase of water at 5 bar and 120 celsius okay it's telling me it's in liquid phase i don't know is that so cool liquid or is it saturated liquid is that so cool liquid Okay, it's giving me an explanation at least it understands okay so so is it uh, saturated water okay so it's telling me it's saturated liquid so effectively I am on this line so um, there's no ambiguity there it's able to understand uh, the difference between the line and uh, the, the different areas we have perfect now let's see if it's able to give me the specific volume at a certain condition what is the specific volume of those conditions Okay, it's telling me to refer to a thermodynamic table, but it is giving me a value. Okay, good. Perfect. So it's solved. Now let's try something more complicated that's not even on the line. A very random value. What is the specific entropy of water at uh, 25 kPa and 130 Kelvin. Okay, it's telling me to refer to a software, but it's giving me a value and it's saying that it might not be accurate. All right, do we know? Okay, I'm gonna trust it for now. Now let's see if it can uh, interpolate data. So without me giving it upper bounds and lower bounds, let's see if it can interpolate. So I'm going to tell it what is the specific entropy of water at uh, 35 kPa um, if the water is saturated liquid okay I'm going to check if this is correct now point point eight let's see okay point eight this is not accurate because at 35 kPa we should be between 0.94 and 1 so this is not accurate so I think that ChatGPT is not able to solve this type of problem 
So what I will do now is give it something more specific and see if it can interpolate to give me the right value. So now we just prove that ChatGPT is not foolproof. You cannot count on it if you don't understand the topic correctly because now uh, I have experience and I can tell that this is not correct. So if you do not have experience, you cannot use it directly. But now, but if you know how ChatGPT processes the information, like now it's telling us that it's, I don't think it is interpolating, it is not accessing thermodynamic tables. So um, I'm going to give it the upper and lower bounds and tell it to interpolate it. Okay, so it's using the interpolation formula. Perfect. plug in that's exactly what I want let's see okay it's taking long giving me all the steps so I can check for now it looks good okay it's giving me 1.025 let's check if that is correct so it is in between the bounds but I'm not sure if it's correct because 35 is halfway between 30 and 40 and it's giving me something that's really close to the saturated liquid. So I do not think this is the correct answer and uh, I would not trust ChatGPT to give me the correct answer. I'm going to tell it that it's wrong and see what it responds. I believe this is wrong. It should be a bit less. Less. so it's not giving me any feedback it's just telling me to consult the thermodynamic table can you give me the correct answer okay so it's telling me straight up that it cannot access thermodynamic tables so in that case we cannot count on it and I cannot say exactly how it managed to give me the other solutions but I know that sometimes it can interpolate only if you tell it to and still give me a wrong answer so in that case my conclusion is that AI is not yet able to solve thermodynamic problems and uh, we cannot count on it right now hopefully ChatGPT4 will be a bit better maybe they will um, implement in it some uh, thermodynamic data so we can solve our engineering problems.